me and three other airmen were walking through the desert looking for a missile that the Army had fired. It didn't detonate, and our job was to find it and dispose of it. As we were walking, there, there were no clicks, any kind of movie things. It's just boom, an explosion. I hit the ground uh, face first. I crushed these three fingers. Uh, when I had rolled over, I had sand in my mouth. I was trying to get the sand out. I uh, realized my hand was completely amputated. My foot on this side was up by my head. The captain came over. They started uh, pulling their belts off. Uh, one of them tourniqueted my arm, the other one tourniqueted my leg. Then they picked me up and started carrying me to the Humvee. Started into the heart of Kuwait City looking for a hospital. From there, I had to wait for the commander from Camp Doha to come down and look at me, physically see me, before they were allowed to do anything for me because they were civilians. Explosive ordnance disposal is the best job there is in the military. It is dangerous, but it's the best job there is. I would go back and do it again right now if they'd let me. On my birthday, my wife had taken me out to dinner. We were in the parking lot of the restaurant. I took a bad fall. After that fall, she had gotten on the internet, found Smoky Mountain service dogs. I told them stability was A number one for me because I've had a couple of bad falls. From that interview process, paired, ended up pairing me with Lucy. She's very special. I can put weight on her and she'll hold it. It's almost spooky how much she stares at you. <laughs> She's just waiting to, to help. She's wanting always to do something when the service dog becomes your dog. It's yours from then on to take care of each other. It's a great feeling.